<laughs> Hi, beautiful. I just want to tell you the moment that I saw this tool on my Instagram feed, I knew I had to have it. I bought it right away. These tools seem like they are going to be revolutionary. They have these interchangeable battery packs, which you'll see in a second. So your flat iron and your curling iron never run out of battery. Yes. We are about to try two brand new state of the art tools by Harry Josh. And I really hope that I come out of this video really liking them. But you know, I'm going to give you the most honest review ever. And um, I think it could be better than some of the Dyson products. Hopefully it works like I think it will. Harry, if, if it's bad, I'm, I'm sorry. All right, let's try these bitches out. I'm going to warn you, this review is going to be a mess and a lot. And it's really just going to be like me talking to a friend because that's why I like doing my reviews. I'm not running through all the stats of the product. I'm just telling you what I think of it. If you want a really organized review, go to somebody else. I just want to have fun. I splurged, right? You don't need to do all, you don't need to buy all these things. But I did. This is my job. And luckily I get to just buy shit for a living. <gasps> oh my God. <sighs> life just flashed before my eyes. I thought I was gonna die right there. I bought them all so that we can try them together and so that you don't need to waste your money if these products suck and hopefully they don't. We have our charging dock. We have our uh, ceramic curling wand and then a flat iron. I did plan ahead <laughs> for this video, which if you've watched any of my recent review videos, I don't necessarily plan ahead. I really enjoy just going on here and just talking about anything and everything that I want to because it's my video. And if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. And you watch this for free. So fuck you. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. But if you don't love me, you. we have the dock opened. So it, usually it comes like this without anything. These are actually the batteries that go in to these hot tools and they sell them separately. So you can buy more of them. Let's see what else we got here. I actually have not fully opened these. I have taken the battery out to charge them because again, I prepared for today's video and um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we have the flat iron. Okay. Let's start off here. If I can just, if I can get it out of the box. <laughs> I could just, okay. That's all that's in the box. Yeah, there's no cords, right? Imagine there's like a cord. Oh, there is a cord. What is the cord for? Oh, you can charge it like this. You don't need the dock. <gasps> this is making a lot of sense. And we got Harry Josh here. Hi, Harry. Thank you for making this tool. Hopefully I like it. So then we don't have beef and it's not awkward. Cause you're a great guy. We go way back. Fun fact, actually, you guys, Harry was one of the first people I ever met in the industry who was like kind and wanted to help me on my journey of becoming who I am today. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't really know how else to explain that, but that is what he did. And thank you, Harry. <sighs> I know I harassed you back in the day to have a meeting with me and you did. And now we're here and I'm reviewing your product. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of full circle. First impressions. This is very light, which I love. Like, to be honest with you, it feels like a little toy. Like my fingers holding this up. I love it, love it, love it. When you are doing hair all day long, you want this thing to feel like a little feather. Usually in my life, I love things that are heavy and bulky and big. And I love shoes that are like weigh 25 pounds on my feet. No, with my hot tools, the lighter, the better. So huge plus with that. I don't know what this is in the top. It goes up to 400 degrees and that's basically it. There's an on and off button, super simple and sweet. And what you do is you take a battery out and you pop it in there. That's the wrong size. And you pop it in there. Is this the same size? I don't know. Are these the same size? Yeah. Are these holes the same size? Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, oh, there's an arrow. I'm just dumb. And then you lock it and then we turn it on. <laughs> All right, I'm turning it off. I think this is how you charge it. Ah, sweet. Okay, let me just open up the other tool and then we can like actually get started using them. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long. I'll hurry up. Oh, God, I feel like it's so scary making content these days. It's like, I don't know if I'm boring you. I don't want to bore you. I just like, I know everyone likes fast, short content. Like I'm, tr I'm trying. I just talk too much. Oh, so this is the iron. I forgot to show you it. I was in such a rush. It feels very light, which is great. However, this does not have a battery in it yet. So let me, let me actually put the battery in so then I can feel how heavy it actually is instead of like making up shit. It's not significantly lighter than the Dyson Corral, which is kind of a bummer, you know? It's such a pain when it's so heavy. And they are both charging right now, so that is cool. I'm gonna shut the f up and I'm gonna grab my client for today, Miss Manny Quain. Where are you? I miss you. She doesn't miss me though. Let's see who we got today. I don't know, I feel like I just wanna use either of these today. Whoa, I swear I don't like do anything harmful to them. Like they look really ratchet and scary. Mm. Girl, look a little better on camera, please. Please, 
we go. See, she loves her life. And then we got our Miss Bangy Bang over here. I love her hair. I don't know. I just think it's so fun. We're gonna do both. We're gonna like have a little fun. Woo! Miss Manny Queen number 643 and 644. A little matcha latte. Mm-mm-mm. I'm already. What the f is that? Who the fuck put those in shirts? You know, people are always telling me to use a real person. It's not gonna happen. I don't want it to happen. I don't want to deal with real people. I deal with real people enough in my life. The chance that I get to not have to. Why is my hair gray today? It's aging me like 20 years. I don't want to deal with real people. That's all I was trying to say. Hey girl, you're gonna have to hop down on the floor for a second for daddy. Okay, welcome. Let's do a little test roo with the scuba doo doo I've only actually owned one other uh, wireless curling iron and it has not been a battery pack sort of thing. You charge it and then you can use it, which now that I said it out loud, it's the same thing, right? You charge it, you can use it. However, these batteries, you can buy multiple of them. When this one dies, you can take it out and grab the other one. So you just have endless battery life, which I have never seen before. I could be stupid and like have just not seen it and it's been in front of my face and some other company has it, but I have not personally seen it. So let's see how fast this baby goes on. It is on, we are cooking. I'm putting it up to max, baby. I love a good max heat moment. Why do I say shit like that? I love a good max heat moment. What does that even mean? I can smell it heating. And it stands, that's a plus. Five stars for standing. I'm gonna give it like three stars for appeal. I don't personally like this color. I would rather it just be black or silver or white or something just super plain, but that is Harry Josh's brand. I don't need to like everything. It is fully heated up. That took like a minute and a half maybe. Let's try this baby out. Let's give a first opinion on the wireless moment. Ooh, ooh, it worked. <laughs> um, Let me just do a few more curls and see what opinions I have forming here. I already told you this, I don't like wands very much. I just feel like I constantly burn myself and I like the way you can get a more flat wave when you have the clamp on the iron. I think these waves are a little bit too like bubbly for me. Personally, I like that more like lived in look. So I wish there was a clamp. I mean, it just, it seems like an easy fix to put a clamp. Guys, just not having the cord on here is a save your, oh my God, I hate cords. Harry, if you're here, um, can you come out with a... <sighs> can you see, I just burnt myself. See what you did? Because there's no clamp. There comes with a glove, but I just like, can't use it. I don't want to. Anyways, I was saying, if you could come out with a blow dryer that is cordless, I will literally, <sighs> I don't know, do anything. All right, five stars for like functionality. It's like I have no swivel cord going to my elbow and getting around my arm and moving all around and being annoying. I will say I'm gonna give it like a two for like not having a clamp because that's like annoying. Honestly, she's getting some great waves here. Whoa, I'm actually like really enjoying this and I just keep going and doing more curls because it's like fun. Ooh, whoa, it looks so pretty on camera. Obviously it's not ideal that there is only one curling iron size. In an ideal world, I would love if this could pop off this part of the iron and it could be replaced with different sizes like that would give me wow this is incredible i think with one size it's it's not giving too much versatility this little bristle tip we saw before it is in fact to hold the ends of the hair like that as you curl all right i just did the entire side of her head because i got bored and like just started doing it this goes right back into the charger it is charging now and um that's pretty dope you can put it down in between curls and let it charge and um she she looks stunning. Obviously they're very, oh, I missed a piece. Happens to all of us, huh? Wow, I'm so silly. I will say the fact that there is only one size, I'm gonna get like a two out of five stars. I don't particularly like a one inch curling iron. I feel like it's just really, really curly on most hair. And yeah, I like a more relaxed, chill look. So I wish I could change that out. But so far, like, <sighs> Like, are you kidding? You can tell that the heat distribution on the iron is very even because from roots to ends, you're getting amazing curl and a lot of shine in her hair. Like her hair doesn't look damaged or dull. It looks really beautiful. That was so quick. I didn't have to plug in anything. I didn't have to switch the batteries out. This has 40 minutes of charge on one battery pack. So that's pretty incredible. The only other hair tool I have that is chargeable is the Dyson Corral and this only lasts for 
30 minutes. And this tool costs $325. So is it cheap? Absolutely not. Is this like a luxury purchase? Yes, of course. You know, hopefully these things last you 10 years. You know, usually tools last you a very long time. So these are investment pieces. This is gonna make your life a lot easier. I'm gonna give it like a four out of five stars for price. I feel like we could we could bring it down. I think in the $275 range is something that I would probably, if I was just an average consumer, I would pay for this. 300 is, is, is pushing it for a curling iron for me. Let me show you an example of what you could do if you did have both of these items and say your client or you or anybody just wants to curl your hair. So basically what you would do is, oh, this is dead. My next client's here. Let me take that out. Whoop, put a new one on. Whoop, and then once this one dies, you switch it back out for this one. They just keep going. It's never ending battery life. Oh, like I just need to have a second to myself. Thank you. I'm just so grateful for chargeable tools. I could cry. I just want everything to be f Bluetooth and cordless. That is what I want in life. Thank you for allowing me to have that moment to myself. All right, the flat iron. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna have a, f a few minor issues with this one just because I'm doing it on the same client. I'm not using Miss Brown Hair because um, she is a mess and I don't feel like dealing with it. Sorry, but this is all you get today. All right, let's pop my battery in here. Lock it in place. Let's turn this on. As you know, the competitor to this is clearly the Dyson Crown. A few things I wanna point out here. This is longer, which whatever, who the hell cares? The biggest problem I have with the Dyson Crown is that it is so chunky, so heavy. It literally hurts my arm. If you're a hairdresser and you're doing multiple people a day, it's like lifting a dumbbell and I'm not a fan of that the heat up time it seems to be very similar to the Dyson Corral and it has 50 minutes of power on this and it has 30 on this so we are now fully heated up I need a comb comb I need a comb I definitely like flat irons that are on the thinner side because I just think like you can get close to the root and it's easier let's just give it a go all right okay let oops Ooh, see that's annoying. I accidentally touched the button. I'm gonna give that a one out of five stars. It is in a very inconvenient spot. My finger is always right here when I'm flat ironing and the corral has the temperature gauges on the inside so you do not accidentally touch it. Like I just turned the iron down accidentally and that drives me nuts. I will say it is not snagging on the hair at all. That is beautiful. It is definitely gliding through. It does not have the bendable plates like the corral has. Do I know for sure that these are like super beneficial to have? No, but it's like nice in theory, right? These do bend wherever there's like a big chunk of hair. They kind of surround that hair no matter if it's an uneven amount of hair or it's an even amount of hair. That was the worst way of explaining that ever. So this just has very ordinary plates. It feels like an ordinary flat iron. It does feel much lighter and it's doing a great job at, at making our hair nice and smooth, which I also love. All right, let me finish the side of her head and I'll give you some more opinions. Boom. Look how sleek and shiny. Am I seeing like any kinds of huge breakthroughs when it comes to the flat iron? No, it's it's pretty much like a standard flat iron from what I can see. Like there is no new innovative technology when it comes to the plates like the Corral. They're a bit different than the Corral. I don't fucking know what types of plates they are. This one looks ceramic. I can, I guess I can check. They are ceramic and the Dyson is like, fine, I'll look it up. Jesus. They're a complex magnesium copper alloy plate. Bougie. Okay, I don't know if that's better or worse, but it is innovative. A bit more than ceramic because ceramic is like the classic, the one that everybody goes with, and this is a bit different. I do think on the Corral, there is a bit more attention to detail when it comes to the buttons, the functionality, the way this locks, the look of it, the feel of it. I think it's very beautiful. I like that the plates come to the edge of the iron, whereas this one falls a bit short from the edge, which is kind of annoying when you're trying to get up really close to the roots. So overall, I think it works well and I love, I still love the concept of switching these out. The biggest issue with the Corral is I've had this dye on me many times and then I have to use it with the cord. If you're doing multiple heads of hair in a row, this is gonna die on you and you have no other option. You can't switch a battery out. This could be charging while I'm doing the other person and then I switch it out and I can keep going forever. Five out of five stars for having the battery be interchangeable. That is a huge advantage over the Dyson Corral. I love this charging dock. To have this in your bathroom or on your station at the salon, I think it's super convenient. 
convenient and there's just no mess. There's no cords. The amount of times a day you have to ravel up your cords and make sure they're all organized and so that nothing gets all tangled together literally makes me want to die. These are pretty damn good. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Plus price. The Dyson Crowl is $500, whereas the Harry Josh flat iron is $350. So $150 savings. We just gotta think, is it worth it? There are a few things it's lacking, plus the power button is in the most annoying place ever. So let me put my thoughts together and give you some, some closing statements about these two Harry Josh tools that just came out. So Mr. Harry Josh, let's talk. These are my final closing thoughts if you should spend 300 plus dollars on either of these items. Let's start off with the curling iron. There is really not many other tools around to compare it to. I would give this tool overall four out of five stars, which is really great, right? I think the things that it's lacking is, well, first of all, the price is just a little high in my opinion. The other two major things are the lack of a clamp and the non-interchangeable sizes of the wand. That's a pretty standard thing nowadays and I really enjoy Enjoy changing out my wand easily and not having to bring multiple with me to shoots or, or anything that I do outside of the salon. So that's my only critique with that. I do think that the idea of having this be interchangeable batteries puts it at a four out of five. Like there's nothing else like it. So there's nothing else to really compare it to. And I would definitely purchase if I had the extra money laying around, if I were you, it'd be a great investment. And I think it would last you a long time. Now the flat iron, we got to compare it to the corral, right? I would give this also a four out of five stars. The on and off button needs to move. That is my number one thing. Super annoying to have it there. It's just an ordinary flat iron. There's nothing like totally special about it. Besides the biggest special thing about it, which is the interchangeable battery. I keep saying this over and over again, way better than having this thing die. This lasts nearly twice as long on one battery pack compared to this one. Once this dies, you can replace it and you can go all day long without having to use a cord. Cause I often have to plug this one in, which nobody ever tells you. Based off of that, and and the fact that it's $150 less than this one, I might grab for this one first. It's hard, because I would also give this one a four out of five stars. So you kind of got to think what is best for you. Both of these tools have great things about them and not so great things about them. It just depends on what you're looking for and what your needs are. Having an interchangeable battery pack for me is the most important part of all. So I would probably choose this over the corral. For you, it might be to make sure that your hair is as healthy as possible and there is no pulling on your hair and maybe the battery is not as important to you and the technology is more important then maybe the Dyson Crowl will be better for you. Do I like these tools? Hell yeah. I think Harry Josh, you did a great job with you and your team at creating these tools. I think they are, oh, let me get the branding in there for you. Um, I think they're innovative and awesome and they will definitely be a part of my toolkit from now on. So that is it. That is my fabulously chaotic review of these two new gadgets that I just bought. If you want to check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.